Right now we're worried uh, that the, the clock is ticking. Uh, today is one month to the day that Rachel went out on a run. Um, so people's memories are fading. Matthew McMahon brought a stack of flyers to the Mon Pa Trail. On them, new details from a criminal profiler on the potential suspect. A man seen in this video whose DNA is linked to the crime. This is not just to get justice for Rachel and her family and her children. It's to prevent this person from doing this again because it's a matter of time before he does do this again. The criminal profiler believes he could be a violent criminal with dangerous psychopathic traits, possibly a narcissist lacking empathy who is manipulative and a pathological liar. The profiler says after committing a crime in Los Angeles, he came to Bel Air, an odd choice, meaning he, quote, must know someone in Bel Air where he has been able to stay. Also calling him an opportunistic predator who had a reason to be in the area of the path. The suspect would have been out between 6 p.m. and dusk on August 5th. Well, there's a desire from the family to sort of give more information to the public so somebody else would be able to identify. The important part of that profile, if you notice, is there is a, a possibility that it's, it's, the person could be somewhere around this area. They're looking for a Hispanic man in his early to mid-20s, 5 foot 9 inches tall and 160 pounds. We're hoping this paints a, a much clearer picture of who this person is because we believe firmly that somebody in Bel Air knows who this suspect is. If you know anyone that comes close to matching any of the details described, you're asked to email rmtips at harfordsheriff.org or call that number on your screen, 410-836-5430. Right now, there is a $10,000 reward for any information that leads to a conviction. Live in Bel Air, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL-TV 11 News.